Hey guys, here. it's uh, BT Broadband uh, bringing you part two of the basic camera editor to, uh, tutorial. Um, where we left off, we finished creating the room, uh, the simple four wall, and uh, now we're just going to go into the entities. Uh, an entity is like um, uh, acts as like a prop or like um, uh, putting in the starting point of like your map as like your spawn point. It could be up to something like creating effects such as fire, smoke, um, uh, and, and making things like work in your environment. Uh, the tool here, which we're going to be using is the entity tool, uh, what I've said. It's just on the left hand corner, which is um, just above the block tool, which was done before, and the, below that was the texture tool. It's just so it's like one that looks a bit like a light bulb. Uh, so you just want to click that. And once you've clicked that, Click anywhere on in your camera port on the floor, and you see here we have now a little figure, or it looks like Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. So this is the starting point, and if you come to the right of it, you can see the top view of where he is, and the side view, and the front view. So you want to go back to your selection tool. We'll just put them in the center for now, and uh, you've got each point where you can turn. And if you double click, I mean click, sorry, once. Um, you, uh, you get different uh, options to do with them. So if you click once, you just bring a little ball, and you can change the angle where he wants to be. So say if he wants to be standing that way now, or if he wants to be standing that way, you can mess around with wherever you want him to stand. But for now, it doesn't matter. It just is in the center. To open the options within um, this uh, tool, uh, what you want to do is you want to double click on the entity. Sorry, you want to click all. <laughs> and enter sorry and it should bring up the uh, properties for the info player star point which is obviously uh, Gordon Freeman and the drop down menu you have loads of other, other stuff to do making weapons putting like light in there and other load of other stuff we can we can go through but for now should, should just be look for the info player star or if you're on counter strike it might be different uh, and these just basic open options like the angle where you're standing at and stuff and when you've got other things selected as a prop there would be more options here for the, for the props and things like that, which we'll go through when we get to them. For now we can just hit apply. Uh, once your starting points in for the entity um, here, that's where you're going to spawn um, and what we're going to do to finish up on this we're going to um, run the map which I'll show you how to do which is if you just click F9 on your keyboard what I do is save your map to your desktop or wherever you want to save it, I'll just call it test and just save that map and it should bring up this option which is um, like how you how you run in your map you, you just leave it all on normal, it should be fine and then what I've done here, I mean probably most people know it, most people know uh, might not know it, sorry is you just got a little command which is the uh, dev a console there which is just opens your console when you're in the game you can see what's going on with the functions behind it. I recommend that when you're making a map you click don't run the game after compiling because it just wants to get used to it can it can run it up and uh, see what files and things is what we've applied. Just click on OK on that. It should then bring up this little program which is like going through and it's checking each all the different um, things that we've put in the map and to get in the light um, like um, reflections and, and just building the map. Once you've done that, close that down again, you can hit F9 again, uncheck that, hit OK and it should just load up the game. It might take longer, it depends on what computer you've got and what have you. See, you can hear, see the console here, and see where it's, uh, what's running things. And here we are in Half-Life. Just really basic. There's no actual light, but there's there is light in here. But I mean, say if we did put a light in, you can mess around with how dark, how bright you want it, and you can do that. But for now, without putting any lights in, it just puts it to a, an auto brightness. Um, but as again, you can just see the textures are applied 
on the wall there, on the roof. And um, yeah, so that should just uh, should just end it here. Um, see me in the next part or the next tutorial. Um, cheers for watching.